Alright, what's up guys? It's been a good hmm, six or seven years since I posted anything, and one of my videos, uh, the Rainbow Warrior video that um, Andy and I posted, we talked about how we were going to share our coming out stories, so I decided, why not? It's literally the last day of Pride Month, um, why not share my coming out story, even though I came out in high school and um, I was like 16, 17 when I came out, and I'm 25 now, but why not? About to be 26, so it's been a good 9 or 10 years since I've been out. So, it was June 2010 when my best friend and I went to go see uh, Twilight Eclipse. And so, we're watching the movie, and as I lean over and tell her, I'm like, this girl Alice is wearing this leather jacket in this fight scene, and I think it's very sexy, and she's like, yeah, me too, and I'm like, yeah, you know, and then we're talking about it, but I was like, yeah, this, this is a whole cast of, like, sexy people, and she was like, yeah, it is, and then I'm like, yeah, and so I was, like, testing the waters then, but didn't say anything, and then a month later, I'm hanging out with some friends, we were drinking, and my cup's in this shot. We were drinking. And then we ended up uh, waking up the next day in bed, no clothes. Two of them, those two were dating. They were a couple, and I was just the third will. So I woke up so confused. I text my best friend, and she just was telling me, you know, I would love you no matter what. If uh, you were gay or bi, and I'm like, yeah, I would love for you too if you were, but I just don't know. So then I give it another go, and I reflect on it. Like with these friends, I right? meet with them again. I was like, you know what? I don't know what happened, and I want to try this again. And if we're gonna do this, can we be sober? Because I don't want the alcohol to be involved, and I'd be confused more than I already am, so we give it another go, and I'm like, you know what, I like this, it works, both male and female works for me, so I tell my best friend, um, about, I think it was July 15th, 2010, I tell her, she, t she, um, tells me, and we're good, she tell basically, we come out to each other, and I'm like, wow, so now I got this girl on my side, and throughout high school, whenever I got into it with my uh, family at home, I would go hang out with her and her family. Her mom and dad, I loved to pieces. Her family, I loved to pieces. I'd call her mom and dad, mom and dad. I would spend Thanksgivings at her house. Now, if you know me, I there's two things I can do. I can eat and drink like no other. For me to be as small as I am, I can hold my alcohol and I can hold my food. So, um... So that should give you an idea on how drunk I would have to be for me to be like, uh, excuse me, uh, he don't remember, or all of it. So after coming out to her, I started coming out to a few friends, and these friends who were females, I changed their names to guys' names. Kirby became Luke. Um, her sister, Kelsey, was Riley, which is a gender-neutral name, um... Let's see, my friend Ashley became Lee. Uh, the guys I was talking to were girls' names. So then if it was like something like, oh, that's that's like it. if someone saw it and be like, whoa, this is Joseph texting you some stuff like that. That's kind of weird. But then it'll be like, oh, this is Jill texting you some stuff like that. I think that's why I renamed some of them because I was going to use their names for some of the guys. So... If they um, saw it, it would have a girl's name in it, but oh, it's okay. Because I would I would lend my phone out in high school for people to use to text during class. I'd be like, here, yeah, you can use my phone, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, if I'm going to give my phone to someone, or if I said they could use my phone tomorrow, I have to cover my tracks. So that's why I did that. And one of them... One of the people I would let my, use my phone is my ex-girlfriend's best friend. So I was like, yeah, I really have to cover my tracks now. Because if she see it, I don't know if she's going to tell her. But I don't know how she's going to react. And I didn't want her to feel 
like I used her because it didn't. I really, I really generally cared about her and I still care about her. She still has a special place in my heart, don't get me wrong. So I just didn't want her to feel like that. And in high school, it was, I was in ROTC when I came out to my cousin Mario and he, I felt like a big brother vibe from him. And I was kind of hesitant because of um, the fact that he was like, so big in the God and I'm like oh you know those type of people don't like me or like people like me so I'm kind of uh but when I came out to him he was like you know my cousin it's cool um and I remember I the reason why I was so hesitant is because he posted something and I was kind of like uh, I don't know but when I came out to him he he took it pretty well my siblings all took it well. My older brother, who um, I had just met in high school, but I really didn't know that well. I was like, I'm kind of reluctant. I'm coming out to him. And so I decided to tell him anyway. He was fine with it, and that was the last time we talked. But it wasn't because of my sexuality. It was other reasons. But he took it well. I'm, I'm like, okay, boom. But, so then the hesitation was with telling my dad. My dad was the one I was kind of worried about. And I think when I came out to him, he was living in Minnesota at the time. So I'm adopted. I didn't live with my mother or my dad. Um, but after 20 shots and two muscle relaxers, my freshman year of college at a party, I took a shot every time I ate a chicken nugget from uh, Burger King. So I got pretty lit. And I remember I didn't even eat all my nuggets. I just got to the point where I was taking shots because I think I was laying outside the hallway with the nuggets or something, someone told me. But um, I wrote a note on my arm to call dad now because I guess I talked to him that night and he told me to call him, but I was too messed up. But I was coherent enough to write a note to myself. So when I called him the next day and talked to him, he basically told me he loves me, I'm his son, and there's n nothing I can do to make him um, feel differently, so to speak. And so I was like, okay, bet. So I, after telling him at that point, I was like, you know what? He was the one I was worried about the most. He knows it's fine at this point. It's going to be like you should know at this point. I've told, I've told everyone I wanted to tell, um, and everyone that just met me in college knows. So after that, I was just like, you know what? At this point, everyone should know. And so then we're gonna just fast forward to now. Um, I feel like some people in my family still don't know, but it's not like I'm hiding it. It is what it is. Um, but for me, I was just, I felt like I over, I was like stuck in my own head, worried about um, how they were gonna take it because when I was younger, I remember I took uh, facts, family and consumer science. It was part of middle school, so it was a class we had to take. And I remember my dad was like, let me find out you gay. And then he was like, I'm gonna, and then it, my aunt Claire came out of her room and was like, so what if he is gay? And I was like, uh, what am I doing to get in trouble? I didn't do anything. Like, I remember he was looking at my uh, schedule for uh, school or my report card. And he was like, let me find out. Like, I didn't pick these classes. These were what the school gave to me. So, um... So that's when I, that's why I was so hesitant to tell him, but he took it pretty well. Like my coming out was went over pretty well. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I did have some people that was like, "Oh, if you choose this life, you choose not to be a part of mine," and then have some people that be like, "Oh, it's a phase. Don't worry about it." I had negative, I had negative uh, reactions, but all in all, it was all positive, and I. I'm grateful that everyone took it the way they did because I was already in a rough place in life and then I already was like dealing with a lot. So for that to be the one thing that goes over well, I was 
And that one thing was the biggest burden to me at the time. And I'm pretty thankful for that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I remember in our Rainbow Warrior video with Andy and I, we mentioned that. And after coming out, uh, I think it was senior year, a few friends and I decided to do an it gets, it gets Better video. And so the link to those two will be in the description. So just go ahead and like subscribe and leave some comments and let's have some conversations let's get this going all right guys peace